hello you welcome back to my channel today i hope you've been great now when it comes to the uk you can be driving with your international license for a period of 12 months so i've been driving with my international license and i decided it's time for me to get my uk license before the international license expired or so i applied for the provisional got the provisional and applied for the theory test the theory test is is something that is answerable it's not like it's that hard but you need to practice and familiarize yourself with the kind of questions they need to ask so as everybody does i prepared myself so i thought <laughs> the material that i used there are different topics you see the highway code you see the vulnerable road users it's like you see things different topics that i saw there so i kept practicing and practicing and practicing i even attempted the mock question i was scoring above the pass mark so i was confident that i was going to pass it on the test date that i went there the lady when she was explaining to me how the exam is going to be and there are two sections the word first one is the multiple once it finishes and I, I go over to the second one which is the hazard perception i'm going to see a series of videos that is going to come up and the things that i'm going to see. so when she was explaining these things in my mind i was like what is she trying to say is there another one <laughs> so i asked her to repeat what she said she repeated it and i said okay so when i went in i started the test the multiple was so it was easy because i was seeing the things that i had said before within five to ten minutes to answer my multiple it was easy i answered it hmm. i thought oh, okay i'm going to ace this <laughs> so when it got to the hazard perception hmm, that was when confusion started and i was seeing this hazard this is a normal hazard you see on the road for example like when you're on the motorway and a car that is parked is trying to join back to the lane you know it's going to be when the car is joining back to the lane you you're going to slow down to allow the car to join from the slip road so it seems like that but just like every other exam there are instructions and ways to answer it it's not like they're asking you is a hazard yes or no so the faster you click on the developing hazard the more points you get so being that is the first time i'm seeing that video i didn't even know that is the result so this is the result when i got the result i was just heartbroken <laughs> so it's you see so it's telling me that on the double hazard i scored six points and this is likely because i didn't click on the developing hazard in time and then i was just scoring one 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 point one point three point two point one point like that because i was seeing the hazard because when i went through the instructions i said okay fine maybe let me attempt it it's something i could do so imagine if i had clicked on the hazard in time i would have had like five four at least three instead of having one two three ah, so it was very poor and i scored 29 out of 75 when i saw it there you know when you're confident that you're going to pass an exam and then you enter the exam <laughs> And you see something else when i saw the results i wasn't just happy at all oh, okay. when i finished that first one i had to come back and i went through the material again i noticed that i skipped that hazard perception the way i've been studying that hazard perception eh? if hazard see me they'll be running but i rebooked the exam and today i'm going for it i've been practicing it and i've seen easier way to identify hazard for example, when you're on the country road and then you see a sign that has an animal in it. I'm looking out for animal on this road because they might come out and obstruct my way and I have to slow down. So in my mind, I'm already looking for where is the animal, where is the animal? I'm going to click the animal. Is there a cow? Is there a horse anywhere? Things like that. Or if I'm on the motorway, I'm already looking at, oh, is this car going? Is there any car that is parked? Is it going to join back in the lane? Is there anybody overtaking me? But is there a hazard light on? Things like that. So and i've been practicing i've been scoring above 60. so i'm super ready now i want to have breakfast now and start going fingers crossed and i'm praying that i go they don't want to study this thing again i want to start the next practice should be for my practical and not going for theory anymore Body mom is my best cereal. I have not invited to come and eat though. Mm -hmm. Come and join me. Cereal lovers, those that love Goldy mom, I like it. Since secondary school days, I love Goldy mom. And when you pair it with fruits and put some ice, and you want to have it cold, mm, the taste is 
Mm, heavenly. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to go now. So I need to smash this. I need to have 50 over 50 and 70 over 70. No darling. <laughs> I hope I pass it this time. <laughs> I hope I pass it this time well, because all this month I'm just wasting money booking test up and down. It's not even funny, so it's not even funny. I'm super super ready to <laughs> face it. And I've known the, the tricks on how to answer it. Immediately I'm seeing it, I'm clicking, I'm not even waiting. Is this hazard or is it not hazard? And I they see them, I they click them. I don't even know one know whether that hazard or not. <laughs> Alright, so stay tuned. So, <laughs> I'm here to open this. I feel so tense. <laughs> but, <laughs> I want to get to the car first before I open this. Because if I feel make I will get a crying cycle, not outside. I feel so tense because of what happened the first time. Oh my god. Thanks. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> there packed. Hmm. Oh. Here we go. Did I pass? Did I not pass? <laughs> uh, okay, it's at the back. Oh, not again. It's a lie. I passed. I passed. So you read here are your scores. On the multiple choice part, the pass mark is 43. You scored 47 out of 50 so i feel three <laughs> and those three should be three out of the seven that i flagged because i had like um i had how many was this uh, i had like seven i had like seven that i flagged that i was going to come back to it and when i came back i was reviewing it i was just too confused because i was it's, it's not i haven't seen it before or i think i've seen it but i just couldn't remember the answer but the first time I wrote this text, um, I was seeing similar things I've been reading. And then the hazard perception, which was my fear, my main fear of when I got into the exam. It said, the pass mark is 44, but you scored 69 out of 75. Isn't it all wonderful? <laughs> Remember what I scored in the first one? This is 22 or 23. But that was the first time I was seeing it. I haven't studied it before. But this time around, I was so prepared. Before I see the hazard, I've already clicked. And the one that I've missed, I'm sure that either I clicked earlier or I remember my mind kind of went off and before I could see the hazard, time had passed. <laughs> the video started, my mind just went off, just like that. And before I could come back, you know, it was just so fast. So the hazard came up immediately, the video started. So I'm so happy that this has come and I've passed it. <laughs> so right now is to go prepare for I need to go prepare for my practical test. I just hope I pass that one in the first one as well because you know these people and their details, everything. Even people that drive so well, better than I do, fail that practical test. I just hope it's not going to be the same with mine because I don't have any strength for scheduling tests and going for it up and down. But I'm so happy. I could open it there. It made the man give me the paper. I was like, hey, did I pass? Did I not pass? Because I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And please remember to subscribe, like this video, and see you next time. Next time is going to be my practical tests. So update you guys whether I passed it or not. I hope I do pass it. I hope. Oh, I hope I pass it. Oh, it's too high, it's too up. <laughs> I hope I passed it, so it's time to go home. So take care, bye.